My wedding was one of the last things I planned with my mom. It was a very bittersweet day because it's just all one big reminder of the giant hole where she used to be. My mom was my best friend. My mom was very much the type of principal who knew the name of every child in that school. She knew their siblings and she knew their parents and she probably could tell you how many dogs and what breed they were. On the morning of December 14th, I got an emergency alert that said there's a shooting at Sandy Hook. I grabbed my purse and I grabbed my keys and I just went storming to the car. I just kept thinking, this isn't real. You know, like I, I, I knew that I was gonna wake up from a bad dream. And we waited and waited and waited and they told us if you're in this room, it's because your family member's not coming out. And it wasn't until the first time I saw it in writing, age 47, Dawn Lafferty Hochsprung, female, deceased, cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds, that I realized my mom didn't die. My mom was murdered, and that made me angry. And that made me act. Hillary Clinton is the only candidate that has what it takes to take on the gun lobby. No one is fighting harder to reform our gun laws than Hillary. She reminds me of my mother. She isn't scared of anything. That's why I believe in her. That's why millions of other Americans believe in her. There's finally someone who can change things. Please welcome Erica Smigelski from Prospect, Connecticut. I should not be here tonight. I don't want to be here tonight. I should be home like so many Americans watching on TV with my mother as we nominate the first woman to be President of the United States. But my mom was murdered, so I'm here. I'm here for the mothers and daughters who are planning weddings so that you get to watch your daughters walk down the aisle. I'm here for those lives cut short in a school, in a movie theater, in a church, at work, in their neighborhoods or homes, because those voices should never be silenced. I'm here alone without my mother well, too many politicians cower behind the gun lobby instead of standing with American families. We don't need another Charleston or San Bernardino or Dallas or countless other acts of everyday gun violence that don't make the headlines. We don't need our teachers and principals going to work in fear. What we need is another mother who's willing to do what's right, whose bravery can live up in equal measure to my mom's. What we need is to elect Hillary Clinton as the 45th President of the United States of America so that no other daughter ever has to say, I would give every single day that I have left for just one more day with my mom.